okay so we now have uh, people we're going to send messages to um, so we'll come here when you click a send message it brings you to the message composition interface let's assume you're going to say um, invitation to alumni meeting or something else whatever your message is really and then here this is very important if you for instance i like to say you can see the kinds of um descriptions i've given for myself let's assume this is something that's very simple that let's assume i just want my name to show as tyoke but when they receive it but it will have my email behind it but i could also say that tks alumni university showing that this is going to show on the from the from field in your message in the, when the person gets the email okay that's what the person is going to see hello okay this is to invite you to the next meeting on 17th December 2011 at 2 p.m. okay oops sorry I think I'm running out of battery power regards and you type to your lab body and all your other information the message is ready let's assume it's ready so scroll down click save changes now one of the things you could do at this point before you send a message at all is send a copy to yourself do a test and just so you can see what it will look like okay so i'm saying okay well okay that's the thing now the email address has to be one that's on the mailing list so let's pick one that's on the subscribers list we have this one is not on it so we, but we do have this one yeah this one is on the list it's got to be a mailing uh, the email that you send the test to got to be a, an email that's on the mailing list that you have okay we've done that Let, let's put in some bold some formatting just so you can get that too okay and let me complete this make this bigger maybe something Font size. You can see how much you can do. I mean, it's basically, right? The message we just tried to do a test of has just come in. You can see the way it comes out. You see, tickets alumni investing. This is the HTML version. I'll just show you that. You can see it's bigger. This is the text version. We won't be able to see a difference right now between either of them. But if we do another test with the one I just set up, okay, because I've just made it bold, that will show. That's the HTML formatting. If I do save, okay, and then go back down and I do a, s a test, okay, when that comes, I'm having to fight with some mosquitoes here, they're really doing some damage, okay, when that comes in, you'll be able to see the difference uh, between the HTML and the text message. You could decide on how you want to do it. You could even put it, you will copy and paste directly from Microsoft Word. That's the beauty of From even a website, you can paste right in here you know if i were to do that for instance let's see if i can find something oh, i don't really have anything but i mean use your imagination you can actually do that and then when you want to send the message on that format you could decide if you want the message to go as text or if you want it to go as html i want it to go as html now the second test we've done has just come in let's take a look at the difference the larger one that has an attachment clip shows you can see it comes in with the bold showing okay this lets you see what people are going to see you can see it tells them if they will no longer want to receive blah 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 if you want to unsubscribe if he clicks down that it takes them to you see it's beautiful you can just do the you don't even need to know the first thing about programming to to benefit from this it's all there free on your control panel in your c panel all you have to do is install this application right so let's send the message we'll go to lists I don't I don't need to save that that's it's prompting me but I don't need to do that now I'm going to send the message so when you want to send you come to list and then you click on the mailing list you want to send to okay and then click send message to the selected mailing list it's being it queues the message and then all you have to do is process the queue but the minute you click process the queue okay you see that's what it tells you and you just wait a few seconds really and at the point it tells you it is safe to click your stop button and blah 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 at that point even if you were to log off your computer this application continues sending out all the mails until they're done and then it sends you a report okay at your domain 
you know if you specify the domain you want it to send your report on it does that you can see it sent it out and i'm receiving those messages you see info at you see it comes to that and you see this other one will be a different address you see tire as now those are two different people who have received the same message from you okay if you don't want to receive any more message messages you can see what it does it gives you all the approach on your domain you can see on my domain is done all of that and that's it you can have professional emails sent out to people without having to have your the toll line filled with like a like hundred uh, email addresses of recipients you can contact me tkshola.com tayo at tkshola.com and if you need any help with this i could help you with the installation configuration or whatever okay thank you